Hi, it's me, Gardner. Hi, my name is Nathan. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rachel. All right, so this week we're going to be we're going to be uh, following along with um, Ultimate Gardening, Emmanuel Arce. He gardens down in Florida, and um, we're looking forward to talking with him here. Let's welcome Emmanuel to the show. Hi, hey, Emmanuel. Hey, how awesome to see you there! Thanks for joining us this week. Glad to be here. Such a pleasure to be on the live stream with you guys. That's awesome. It's really great to have you here. I've been following you for a little while. I really like a lot of the things that you're doing with your YouTube channel. Thank you. You're welcome. So you, you uh, garden down in Florida, right? Yeah, I grow down here in South Florida, in the southern part of Florida. South Florida there. So the weather's pretty nice then? Yep, we're currently in the high 70s. Um, we did experience one day that it went down a little bit lower, but this entire week we've been in the high 70s and 80s. Oh, yeah, I know the rest of us around the country are probably pretty jealous that you got all that really nice weather, but I'm sure that uh, gardening in Florida presents its kind of challenges and all of that. So, uh, how about you tell us, what was your first gardening experience? I know you're pretty young, but uh, I'm sure that uh, you've got a pretty good garden story, right? Yeah, so my gardening experience happened around seven years ago when I was seven years old. Um, it was actually my dad. So we went on to a local Lowe's we have around here, and he went to go grab something in the store and I stayed in the garden center and I was just warming around looking at the plants. And then I found one that I really, really loved, which was a red snapdragon. And my dad purchased it for me and I planted it out in the backyard in a little area he told me I could plant it in. And then I was so like fascinated by the growth rate of it, how the flowers, the intricate design of it. And so I just wanted to learn more. And that's when I just started jump starting into gardening. And it's just been great ever since you started your first garden with your dad when you were about seven years old yeah so it was like it took my dad like about a year to like give up his lawn because my dad is that type of person who doesn't like giving up a lot of his backyard <laughs> space and so it right. took him about a year because i did a lot of container gardening the first few times and he once he saw that i was developing a little bit of experience he gave me a little area like about a year later Okay, awesome, awesome. So what do you like most about gardening? What I like most about gardening, it's the like peaceful environment per se, as well as it teaches you a lot of responsibilities. That's what I always tell everybody that gardening is a hobby. It could be a career for certain other people or certain gardeners. But what I love most is that it teaches responsibilities towards some gardeners as well as the peaceful environment. So it's like you're never stressed out or there's no any like sad emotion or anything. You're just at peace when you're gardening. Yeah, that's definitely, that's kind of something we were talking about there with our last guest as well, too, is that, you know, we can enjoy all of the fun things that we get to grow in the garden and all of that, but probably the best thing we get out of it is that peace of mind, that garden therapy, as I say, but uh, yeah, that's one of the great things about it. So what are some of your favorite plants to grow? He's growing down there in Florida, so you probably got some pretty interesting things down there, right? Yeah, so right now, since I'm dedicated into growing my own food, it has to be cabbage. Cabbage has to be one of my favorite uh, vegetables to grow, especially since I don't deal with a lot of pests or diseases or any type of critters after it. So cabbage awesome. has to be number one because I always have success growing it. And when it comes to harvest time, it's just a delight seeing how big the head of cabbages get, as well as like, any type of brassica out there, I always tend to have the biggest success with brassicas in general. Oh, wow. See, that's completely opposite of what my my uh, gardening experience is. <laughs> brassicas <laughs> always seem to give me the challenge in the garden every single year. So my goal this year is to hopefully get some really nice cabbages out of the garden and improve on my broccoli that I've been 
getting figured out here for sure. So what are some of your least favorite plants to grow in the garden? Well, there's always that little tiny plant that I don't really like growing, which one of them has to be potatoes, which when I ever tell somebody that they're like surprised, but I guess it's because they can't really grow down in my climate, but I've tried multiple times and failed at it. But potatoes is just not my forte. Um, it's just, I never really had success growing them in containers or in the ground, amending them. I never have the success with growing potatoes. I did have a little harvest one year, but it wasn't the best. The potatoes came a little bit wonky shaped. And so potatoes has to be one of the least favorite ones I like to grow in the garden. Um, and follow up off of that probably has to be beetroot because it's just, I don't have the a lot of patience for it. But also because beetroot does require a lot of, let's just say like fertilizing so it could get that nice like beetroot shape. Right, right. Yeah, I love to grow container potatoes. Most of my gardening is all kind of small spaces. I've got a patio and all of that. And uh, so I grow container potatoes in big, large containers. And uh, I always find that each year that my potato plants are always really awesome. I get these big, beautiful, awesome, awesome plants. But the thing about potatoes is it's always a mystery about what you've got yeah. down underneath of the soil. And so you take and spend all of that time growing these potatoes <laughs> and then you wait until and, and you wait and wait and you get there finally and you make that harvest and you pull them out and you end up with these little tiny things sometimes, which happen. Yeah, I've had a. I've had a few good years though, too, where I've gotten some really nice ones, but I'm sure that they do kind of present that challenge, like you said, for your climate. Yeah. So I want to ask you, what inspired you and you're a young man to get started in gardening and to start doing that on YouTube and making YouTube videos for. Um, so I'm 16 years old, so I'm pretty young. It's one of the youngest gardeners out on the social media platforms. Um, but what inspires me has to be the audience members or people who follow me because it's just something I love doing. I've always loved educating people on gardening as well as getting some things done in the garden. So it's like a two for one deal. And whenever I upload videos or they go on premiere, I always have multiple different people on the premiere or in the comment section always inspire me to do more as well as always leaving these amazing kind comments. And that just kind of gives me more like enthusiasm or more passion to move forward because although the first like year of me doing youtube was quite a bit of a struggle especially during school wise because people let's just say kids weren't ever so friendly towards that and so i had to deal with a lot of issues in school and everything and so once i just like had my head in the game yes. i was like my success is not going to be determined by other people, if not by me. And so I was like, let right. me just go ahead and move forward because I want to do gardening. Gardening is a future career I'm taking. And so I just was like, let's just move forward. And seems to be a lot of gardeners were pitching in support um, and they were shouting me out. And it just made my gardening channel just boost up. And it's currently still boosting up. And it's just like, astonishing to see how many people are passionate about gardening as well as well as learning that other younger people are getting into gardening um and it's just really fun to see that and it just makes me want to do more yeah absolutely again too you know one of the things that's really cool for us in the gardening community to see our younger people like yourself and uh, we also had a guest last week uh, uh when he's a seven or an eight-year-old uh, Nathan from uh, growing with Nathan with us too. So it's really cool to see you young guys getting into gardening and doing that. And especially again, too, like what you're talking about with the community and everything. That's one of the things that was really inspiring to me as I just got into doing my channel for fun. I just wanted to kind of document what I was doing in my garden spaces. But then when I started seeing this encouragement from everybody else just really you know uh really got me going even further with what i'm doing to where you know here i am today you know making this uh show let's get growing and all of that and that's really thanks to the garden community as well too so 
let's see you have done some collaborations with other gardeners do you got any favorite collaborations you've done recently um i never really have a favorite i always have great fun collaborating with other gardeners i haven't done any recent collaborations just yet since everybody is just jumping right into the spring season coming right around the corner but i do have some fun ones coming up soon but i will have to say one of my like most interesting collaborations i had to do was with a young kid called eden he has an amazing channel as well he is 16 years old as well and he knows a lot of stuff and his garden is fantastic we did a collaboration with him on my channel like i believe twice um and it's just been fun as well as with another gardener called sima from garden a little she is just an amazing gardener as well so like there's just so many gardening uh, channels out there that i just want to like expose to the audience or the community so they can have their moments so they could show everybody what they know so i never really have a favorite collaboration if not right. all of them were a pleasure to work with but definitely the person who like inspired me or like made me more surprised in a way was eden because he was the same like age as me and we kind of connected through the same thing Absolutely. Yeah. What a great answer, though, too. you know, everybody. I mean, I love all of my collaborations. I love to be able to connect with all the different gardeners and all of that out there in the gardening community. And it's really awesome to see the sort of things that you're doing. I did watch one of your collaborations that I really enjoyed. Someone that I've followed for a long time was uh, David the Good. And that yes. was a really great interview that you did with him. Yeah. David the Good is a good friend of mine. Um, he is an amazing gardener, survivor gardener. His journey started down here in Florida, like not too far away from where I'm located. And it was such a pleasure to get to know him. I know we were scheduling a collaboration about like a year ago, but things got really difficult on his end. So I just told him to just like it's okay. Just do what you got to do and we'll just get back to it. And then one day he emailed me and he was like, Hey, I'm heading down in South Florida in the Fort Lauderdale area. Are you interested in coming over? And we could do like a few videos in collaboration. And I was like, for sure. And he is <laughs> like, he is what you see in his videos is what he is in person. He doesn't yeah. play like that fantasy of I'm one person on camera and I'm a different person off camera. No, it literally transpires through the video. And it was just such a delight meeting him. He knows a lot of stuff and he just is so funny. His personality is so outgoing. And it was just a collaboration that I was so anticipated to have. And when it was released, a lot of people loved it. And I just can't wait to do more with him. That's awesome. Yeah. Hopefully someday we're going to get him on the show here too, as well, too, because I get, I really like him. Like you said, he's got a really great personality. He's fun. Um, I also love some of the music that he does in the songs yeah. and things like that he does on his channel and everything. He brings a lot of different things to his channel and that's for sure. Um, one of the last things I wanted to ask you about though, too, is I saw you put out a video recently where you're starting your own seed shop. You want to let everybody yes. know about your seed shop and where they can find that if they want to go and purchase some of your seeds you've got there. Yeah, so it was definitely a working prog progress or a project on a hold. It's definitely one of the dreams I had since I started my YouTube channel. I always wanted to have a seed business under my name, um, especially ever since like MI Gardener or like Epic Gardening, they are branching out really, really amazingly. And I was like, I just want to share my passion as well as the work I grow in my garden to other people. So the seeds I provide, they're all straight from my garden. Uh, there's no funny business going on with it. They're just harvested, dried, and then they're shipped to you guys. So it, my seed business was opened up about a week ago. Um, it's called Garden Grown Seeds. And it's I don't really have an official website yet since I just started. And so if you're interested in purchasing a order with the company, you could email me at gardengrownseeds at gmail.com and you send me an email on what you're interested in growing or what you're interested in purchasing. I'll give you the prices and everything and then we move forward from there. So it's definitely a project that I was really excited to announce. A lot of people seem to love it. And so we're just awaiting to see where it takes us. 
Awesome. That's really great. And I really like to see how you're really developing this whole game plan that you have with this knowledge of gardening that you're gaining and to be able to take it into some really great future projects. And I really hope that you yeah. succeed and uh, all the gardeners out there following and watching this channel, go and check out your channel as well as uh, send you a message and maybe see what kind of seeds that you have. And maybe you can start growing some of Emmanuel's uh, seeds that he's harvesting from his garden. That's a really great thing to be able to trade and, uh, do uh seeds from other people's gardens and things like that too to yeah. kind of carry on those different varieties and everything so again manuel thank you so much for taking the time out of your saturday to join with us here on the let's get growing show it's been a really awesome conversation with you here no problem it was such a pleasure joining on here it was such a fun experience and i can't wait to meet new people out there uh, and create new gardening friends so i'm super super excited and it's been an absolute amazing experience excellent excellent well we'll see you again soon you take care thank you all right bye